All right, I'm about to transplant uh, body panels onto this back here. And since I'm gonna do that, I might as well show you all how to um, strip apart a new or actually used or broken, whatever, one step two to get the this bottom part, uh, which is, has all the fun bits that you'll need. So I had already removed two screws here before I started recording, but just start off with those two screws there. Pretty easy Phillips screws to remove. Um, and then you'll do, I had already started removing that one there, one screw there and one screw there. So we'll do that right now. And by now it should have only have taken you a couple of minutes to get those four screws out. Then you now get, move on to these other two. Apologies for my uh, X1C, those of you that have the bamboo know what that sound is. <clears throat> it's currently calibrating uh, the first print. All right, so then this comes off. Um, you kind of got to pivot it off of this right here because they're clipped onto here. So you have to kind of move it upward a little bit like that and outward. And there's little tabs here that come into here. So you have to remember that when you put the mod back, you got to have to kind of like put it in at an angle here pop it down and then and then press it down and slide it so it's going to take some work to put it back in even to put it back on here so when you put it back on one my, one of my mods uh, you'll probably struggle with that a little bit but just know that it's almost the same kind of struggle on here too you have to be very careful with it um, but I'll improve the, that area on my stuff as I go there's another two screws up here and these screws are great to keep because I will use them in a lot of the other mods. So uh, once you take apart um, the whole camera, you'll be able to source some more from the lens area itself if you're not going to reuse any of that, um, which you probably aren't. Um, I usually find lots of cameras that uh, the user will say or the seller will say that it just takes like a either all black or an all white picture or whatever. So then I'll know it's probably the shutter that's toast. So you know there's no repair for that sort of thing that's worthwhile so those are the ones you want to look for so that you are not sacrificing a perfectly good camera at least try to use it until it dies on you and then when it dies on you give it new life with the Polaroid camera recycling program by spark plug all right I lost that one in there but you know we, we're, we were, we're amassing several so we won't need any um, so at that point Really, that's all you should need. Um, oh, you do want to, does this come off? I think this comes off together. It may be connected down below somewhere. So we're gonna go and snip that. Um, you won't need this switch. This is the, uh, the film confirmation switch, but you will need that one. That's a very important one right there. That's the timing switch. For the I don't know if what's it called timing relay is what I call a timing switch um, for this gear here that will trigger it to keep cycling so that it'll move the film and that's how it, you do the auto eject so if you want the auto eject if you don't want to have to do the manual eject then you got to keep that if you don't care then you know you don't need it so I'm gonna leave that hanging on there like so for now <clears throat> throw that to the side so at this point you want to carefully remove this part here, the motor and the rollers, and then set that to the side. And then inspect for any other screws. I don't think there are. So at this point, there's uh, some, a couple of clips over here that you need to try to get out. They're not that difficult. And then, and then that's it. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. Um, other than if you wanted to get the battery out of here, if you're not using a new battery, then you would have to pop it. Oh, it's right back there. You have to find a way to get under here. I think you have to remove more screws or you have to like break. Yeah, you have to pop this off. There's another tab out here. And you'll have to remove a few screws and I forget which ones they are. Now, obviously these two here, and then maybe you'll probably have to remove all the screws. But anyway, these are the screws that I like keeping for other mods like the Go processor that I'm working on for all of y'all. Um, so definitely be keeping those little black screws. They're gonna come in handy 
Um, I'll probably do something with the viewfinders at some point too, so you might want to keep some of that stuff. The lenses, probably not. The shutters, probably not, since the majority of the ones that I have, I buy lots of them that are broken from repair stores. And like, see, this one like fell and got smashed and didn't work anymore. So, who knows what's up with it? Um, so probably not a lot there you could save, but except for obviously that battery should still be good. Um, on these, they'll still be good. On the One Step Plus, they'll still be good. On the Instant Labs. From what I hear, I, I don't have experience with them because I've never owned one, but everyone says the battery on those suck. Um, same as the i2, which I believe the i2 also might work. You could probably remove it, or that one you might have to chop off something. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, this is all basically you need here. And then follow my wiring diagram. Um, and obviously solder something on here and the motor, you know, solder new points onto the motor. Then if you do that, you wanna have to, you wanna sever this connection once you do your rewiring. I'm just leaving it on there right now so I don't lose it. So remember to sever that off. Otherwise, if you're putting in juice, there's gonna be more juice coming into here. And uh, I'm not sure what the uh, diagram is for this, so I don't wanna risk that. Uh, but yeah, again, hopefully that was useful. And uh, stay tuned. I will be releasing the full instructions and files for this one. I'm, I just need to focus on the framing. I don't want to release it to you all without at least tweaking the framing a little bit more. Um, and then that will, we'll do the first version release.